Hello, in this video, we'll walk you through the various options available to host .NET web application on Amazon Web Services, AWS. I'm Gary Singh, and I'm a senior solutions architect at AWS focused on Microsoft workloads. We will start with a quick introduction to talk about deploying .NET applications on AWS, followed by a quick look at the application migration strategies and where .NET applications fit. Finally, we'll run through a decision tree that will help you understand the different options available to deploy .NET application on AWS. Let's get started. Now, developing and deploying .NET applications on AWS is a key activity to help organizations achieve the scale and agility offered by cloud computing whether it's migrating legacy .NET framework applications or creating modern microservices using .NET Core, AWS offers a wide range of end-to-end -end services, tools, and solutions for application development, deployment, and maintenance. Now let's talk about the application migration strategies. Organizations considering a migration often debate the approach to get there. While there is no one size fit all approach, the focus should be on grouping each of the IT portfolio applications into buckets defined by one of the migration strategies outlined in this slide. Some of these choices are clear and easy to decide, whereas some require considering organizational objectives and constraints. In the context of .NET application, we will look at three strategies, that is rehost, replatform, and refactor. First one is rehost, also known as lift and shift. In a large legacy migration scenario where the organization is looking to scale quickly, we find that the majority of applications are rehosted. Most rehosting can be automated with tools such as AWS Server Migration Service, SMS, although some customers prefer to do this manually as they learn how to apply their legacy systems to the new cloud platform. It has also become evident that applications are easier to optimize or re-architect once they are already running in the cloud, partially because your organization will have developed better skills to do so, and partially because the hard part, that is migrating the application, data, and traffic has already been accomplished. The second strategy we will look into is replatform, sometimes referred to as lift, tinker, and shift. The replatform strategy is similar to rehosting because the core infrastructure of the application is not changed when they are replatformed. The biggest difference is that when the replatform strategy is used, a few cloud optimizations may be made to deliver a specific tangible benefit, such as migrating to a database as a service offering like Amazon Relational Database Service, Amazon RDS. The last strategy we look into is refactor. Changing the way the application is architected and developed, usually done by employing cloud-native features. Typically, this is driven by a strong business need to add feature, scale, or improve performance that would otherwise be difficult to achieve in the application's existing environment. If your organization is looking to boost agility or improve business continuity, it is worth pursuing, even though it is often the most expensive solution. There should be a careful comparison of the additional value and effort before choosing whether an application should go through a complete refactoring or not. Now let's move on to the decision tree to help uh, migrate your .NET application to AWS. We will categorize the options to migrate in three buckets discussed in the previous slide. The first option is rehost. It is fairly a simple choice and easy to decide. What we have here is two options to migrate the .NET application to um, AWS, that is Amazon EC2 and AWS Elastic Beanstalk service. The decision is very simple to make. If the migration target is going to be a VM, we need to decide between AWS managed or self-managed. The self-managed Amazon EC2 option gives you more control on the environment, which leads to higher operational overhead. In many cases, you may not require full control over the underlying infrastructure used for hosting an application and may prefer a managed environment. This is where 
AWS Elastic Beanstalk fits well. It allows you to focus on the application and simply deploy application updates when needed. Let's jump onto the second option that is replatform. Irrespective of the .NET implementation in use, that is .NET Framework or .NET Core, we can migrate the application to Windows Container. Containers allow applications to be bundled with their own libraries and configuration files and then execute in isolation on a single OS kernel, bringing a number of benefits. The simple choice we need to make here is to choosing the container orchestration engine. If your organization has made an investment into Kubernetes and would like to use that in Amazon, we have Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service, EKS, to meet your needs. However, if you are beginning your container journey and is not willing to manage orchestration engine yourself, Amazon Elastic Container Service, ECS, is the way forward. ECS is a highly scalable and high-performance container orchestration service that has been natively developed in AWS and offers deep integration with other AWS services. The last and the final option is Refactor. If you are planning to re-architect your application, for example, moving from .NET Framework to .NET Core and willing to run it on Linux, you get a variety of options to migrate. If you don't see value in managing and provisioning servers to host the application and would like to target serverless functions, AWS Lambda is the best fit. AWS Lambda provides a serverless function as a service model, which automatically manages the underlying computer resources for you. c -sharp code can be uploaded into a Lambda function and everything else is handled by AWS Lambda. If you prefer container over functions and like to go serverless compute engine, AWS Fargate checks all the boxes. However, if you still need to manage the compute, container images, including the guest OS and any application dependencies, you can choose one of the container services. Irrespective of the option you pick, we offer EKS for open source orchestration engine based on Kubernetes and Amazon Native Container Orchestration Service, ECS. Now let's summarize the option available to host .NET web application on AWS and the deciding factors for each of these options. Amazon EC2 offers the most flexibility to you to manage your .NET web application environment, whereas AWS Elastic Beanstalk offers managed service to host your .NET application. For .NET Framework implementation on Windows Container, you can choose between AWS Native Orchestration Engine ECS or our Kubernetes Orchestration Engine EKS. Finally, if you have application built on .NET Core implementation, you have a choice of running serverless functions on AWS Lambda or in Linux or Windows Container running on EKS and ECS. For Linux-based containers, we offer Fargate, our serverless compute engine for container. Thank you.